Hey, how is she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. So I'm glad you dropped in today. Beautiful day here at the lake, eh? Kind of crisp though. Getting into October now, so the weather is, you know, not as nice as warm as it used to be, but that's okay. We're heading towards winter. Uh, today I've got a little job. Uh, it's, you know, it's the fall, so it's wheels on the car painting season. <laughs> <laughs> I've got winter tires that I have on steel rims so that when it comes time to put my winter tires in the car I just uh, remove the wheels put the the steel rims with the winter tires on them on the car but after driving with them all winter they're pretty well chewed up from the salt and the dirt and running up from our dirt road so they get in pretty bad shape so uh, I paint them before I put them on the car and uh, what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to paint them, but I have a little bit of a different idea of maybe how to protect them a little bit. So let's go see what I'm up to. All right, so here's my winter tires on the steel rims. And uh, I've shown this before, paint my rims in different videos. But you can see there, the rims are in pretty bad shape. And the back sides here are even worse. But the tires still hold air, and I think the rims are good and solid. So I'm going to use them at least for one more year. So what I want to do is paint this. But in order to paint the rims, I'd like to put some sort of a, you know, a paint shield around here, some masking paper and whatnot, because I don't want spray paint on my tires. So what I have is a cardboard box. And I'm just going to cut this ridge off there. And then I'm going to take this, put it against the tire, or the wheel, I mean, something like that, just so that these edges line up with the rim. And then I'm going to just try to force this down to make a mark where the rim would be. Turn it over and I can just, I don't know whether you can make that out in the camera, I can hardly make it out here, but I can see a bit of an indentation of where the rim went. So then I'm going to trace that out with my marker. Or try to. Something like that. So we're just going to try and cut this as close to the line as I can. And we'll discard that. Okay, so my idea is I'll just put this along the edge here. See, I kind of missed it a little bit there, but a little bit of overstray would be all right. I just don't want to cover the whole sidewall with paint, right? Okay, so after I cut my little arch out, I did some trimming on it. I planned to cut four of those to place around the tire, but they don't sit into the rim very well. So I did, I think I'm going to do it this way. Put a piece of cardboard on the top. So now I can just hold that on there. And I should be able to spray paint in there, no problem. So I'm just using some trim clad rust black black paint or gloss black paint and the thing here is uh, I'm not looking to paint this to be like uh, show car worthy right I just want to cover up some of the rust spots So it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible either. So I'm going to set this outside, let it dry, uh, and then I'm going to paint the rest of them the same way. So I've got the uh, outside rims painted, and guess what, I ran out of paint. So I'll have to go get some more paint through the insides, but uh, it doesn't look too bad. This might be the last year for these rims, but anyway, we got them painted up now, and. Uh, I think they're going to last this winter for sure. Okay, so we're going to let these tires uh, settle here in the sun and dry. It's turned into a pretty nice day here today. 
But uh, after they dry, I've got an, an idea of how I can maybe prevent them from rusting up so bad. And also, if you ever notice when you uh, when people do this and they just put the black steel rims on their car, it looks like hell, eh? So I've got an idea how to trim it up a little bit. Well, the wheels are all painted up there and they're just about dry. Uh, well, I think they are dry for the most part. Uh, I'm not going to install them on the car today, though, because it's, it's just too early. It's not close enough to winter. <laughs> but anyway, I mentioned about uh, trying to do something a little bit more to protect the wheels and kind of fancy them up a little bit. Well, it's nothing, you know, startling. It's not rocket science invention at Grampy's Workshop. What I did was I went to Canadian Tire and bought myself some wheel covers. How about that, eh? <laughs> I thought, you know, uh, for the last, I'm going to say, four years, I've been driving with these steel wheels just open. And like I said earlier, I don't like the look of them. They look, uh, they don't look nice. Uh, so I thought I'm going to try wheel covers this year. Uh, I got these at Canadian Tire. If you want, I can leave a link to these wheel covers. But, uh, you know, you can go to any Canadian Tire site and you can check out wheel covers and they'll have lots of them. Uh, I'm not sure how good these are going to work, but we're going to try them. Uh, when I first open them up out of the package, just let me show you what they look like. So they come like this, four of them in a box, eh? And they had a nice little plastic bag on them. So I thought, hey, this is neat. They're really looking after their product. So I took this wheel cover out of the plastic bag and uh, I went over and put it on the wheel. I measured the wheels, you know, they're 17 inch wheels. I got 17 inch wheel covers, so they went over. And man, oh man, they were as loose as, you know, floozy. <laughs> so I thought, well, that's no good. I'm gonna have to take them back. But then I decided, hey, better read the instructions. Oh man, I've been reduced to an instruction reader. Anyways, when you read the instructions, turns out there was another little piece inside the box that I neglected to uh, notice, and it was this little uh, wire hoop. And the wire hoop goes on the back side of the wheel. Let's put one together, and then we'll go try and put it in the wheel, see how it looks. Okay, so here's the wheel cover, and I, I put a towel down here on the bench just to keep it from marking it up. Now, on these wheel covers, there's always a little notch in them somewhere, so I don't know about always, but in these ones, there's a little notch where the valve stem on the wheel goes. And then on this wire uh, hoop, there's also a little indent here, and that, they say, goes towards the wheel cover at the notch, at the valve cover notch. So I'm saying that goes right there. And then around the uh, perimeter of the uh, wheel cover, there's these plastic uh, braces, I guess we'd call them. And what we have to do is get this metal ring inside there that just goes in and it clicks. Kind of tricky sometimes though to get that hoop to line up just quite right with the valve cover hole. With the valve stem hole, I mean. Alright, so then we just click that all in here. Pretty easy to do, really. So then once that's in place with all these plastic brackets on the outside of the wire hoop and with the indentation lined up with the valve stem cover, you can't see it from the outside. So let's go try it in one of the wheels and just see how it looks. Okay, so here's my wheels. The paint has dried on them now and I'm going to try this wheel cover on this rim because I don't know whether, how good it shows up here, but there, I have a little dent in the rim right here the deformation in the rim, maybe this would be a good uh, candidate for a trial. So we'll find the valve stem opening and here's the valve stem. So we line those up together and they say you should just tap it in with your hand. Goes on there pretty good. What do you think? I like it. Uh, let's take it over and set it. I'm not going to put it on the car, but we'll set it beside the car and just see what it looks like. So this would be a good time too, I guess, maybe to uh, make the big announcement here. We've got ourselves a new set of wheels. I've uh, been looking for a new car since, well, over six months. Finally, between uh, my salesman at Highland Ford in Glasgow, Ron Mosier is his name, between Ronnie and his connections, he managed to track down this Bronco Sport for me. It's a 2023 Bronco Sport. It's in eruption green. It's a big bend edition. 
and uh, I've had it now, I don't know, a month and a half, and you know what? I really, really like it. It's kind of the first car I've had in a long, long time where I'm excited about it. I like it. You know, out here at the, at the camp for Nanny and I, I want to have good, reliable transportation uh, because we never know when we might have to make a quick trip to town. And uh, the other car I had was a Ford Escape. I like the Escape. It, it worked good for me. I have to say, it never ever let me down. But when I buy these cars, I buy them with total maintenance packages. So I know what my monthly car payment is going to be outside of what I would spend on gas. But as far as maintenance and repairs of the vehicle, I have that as a set budget because the maintenance package that I buy covers like everything from stem to stern on the, on the car. So it's a great idea. It's expensive, mind you, but it's a uh, peace of mind is worth a lot too. So I get that. Uh, and on the old Escape we had, the old Escape was a 2018 and its maintenance package was, uh, was over. So I kind of half expected that any day now, you know, <laughs> it was gonna blow up on me or something that I'd be stuck. So that was one reason why we wanted to go with a newer vehicle. So I got this 2023 Bronco Sport and uh, we, we have a four year maintenance package on it now. So I don't have to worry about any car repairs now for four years other than putting gas in it. You even get an app to put on your phone and then uh, Ford will contact you when it's time to do maintenance. So there you go. I don't have to do anything. So I don't touch the vehicle other than to drive it and put gas in it. And that's the way I like it. But the Ford Bronco Sport, I like it. I really like it. Lots of room inside. It's not too big, not too small. Easy for Nanny to get in and out of. And uh, so far, I'm liking it a lot. But anyway, let's set just one of the tires up against the side of the car here. Just see what it looks like. You see there's the uh, the OE tire that came with it. They're a pretty nice looking wheel too. Uh, I've got Michelin tires on it now, of course. And here's what we're going to be putting on in another probably month. I just want to do a test now to see how hard it is to get these wheel covers off. So they take pretty good tug to get them off, but uh, I'm wondering, you know, you hit a lot of potholes this time of year, or through the winter, especially around here. So I hope they manage to stay on. So what do you think of the wheel covers? Is that going to be a good plan to help save my winter rims from uh, getting beat up with the salt and the dirt and grime and hazards of winter driving? I hope so. Oh, and what do you think of my new Bronco Sport? I like it. I hope you do too. It's nice. I like the color. Can't, you know, I'm not going to lie. I like the color. It's fun driving it. It's like I was saying earlier, it's the first car I'm excited about on it in a long, long time. So I hope it stays that way for a long, long time too, because they're not cheap. Anyways, uh, let me know in some comments what you think about, you know, painting up your wheels and putting wheel covers on it. And, uh, you know, you could leave me a comment about the Bronco if you wanted as well. Thanks for watching, folks. Sure hope you're having a great week. Don't forget to thumbs up me. When it takes a second, hit that thumbs up. It makes a big difference. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.